Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So very happy to be here on this Friday afternoon. Hope you're all having a nice one. Before we get started here, uh, let me bring up the name list. We've got a couple of fun here in chat and your wonderful support. Feel free to throw out some name suggestions for this fine vessel if you'd like to as well. What's up, Gizmo? Night Shift Coffee. Good to see you. Mulvin, Quote Boat, Canaletto. What's up, Zuricon? Mac Red Rum. Hey there, Maison Mod Belt Baloove. What's up, Youthful Porpoise? Rinpy, Mr. Mefo, Jake. Hey there, Super Smack, Great Rain, Emil, oh, excuse me, Pojo Dams, P&W, Casually Challenged, and all the rest. Where am I at on this name list right now? Oh, yeah. We're on Numino. Barrel King. Oh, wait, I did Barrel King last time. Okay, hold on. We're going to make Metaphys here. Con Insanity. There we go. And MF Soap. All right, going to combine a couple here. The Spiffy Banana. Sounds good. Spiffy's a good word. And we're off. If you're new to FTL, it is the roguelike game of space exploration. Our goal is to work way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space on our way to a three-phase flagship fight. This map right here represents one sector. And the lines within are the Rebel Fleet Pursuit, pushing us forward to the exit into Sector 2 and beyond. We're going to collect this value right here uh, via events and ship kills to upgrade our ship systems, subsystems, etc. Slug C is an interesting vessel. It starts with one of the slowest weapons, but also starts with hacking mind control. So you got 150 extra scrap value right here. A uh, pretty good ship overall, though not without its complications with the slower weapon start. Alright, now to get caught up. All the people sub before the stream. Thanks so much, Bratwurst, for 60 months. Kaboot, thanks for 45. Unworldly, tier 2, 39 months. Zuricon, thank you for 4 months. Quote Boat, tier 2, 45. Mulvin and Vin, thanks for 64. Enjoy your lurk. And Lyrco, thanks for 13. It's good, uh, Delbach. Okay. So, I'm going to hack weapons here. Hacking weapons is a very common strategy on this ship. So we can get our volley fired before they fire their volley. And I'm hoping with one weapon hit it takes down the missile launcher instead of this. We'll see about that though. Okay. Oh nice. They toggled here. So now I'm going to swap to a shield hit. I think it's really unlikely they have a lot of dodge because they have three weapon power, which is a fair amount for this early juncture. Boom, boom. All right, eight and 13, not bad. Don't really have the crew for distress beacons just yet. Gonna pass on that. Okay, I've already seen this connection. Let's just head over this way and then up. All right, I'm going to reject the offer here. Okay, well, they only have one laser, so they can't damage us here. And then they have two Mantis Engineer. I feel like... The Manus is going to repair here, and I think with Mind Control we can get a crew kill on this ship. In fact... Do I just lead with Mind Control here? Or do I hit O2 in Mind Control? Well, won't hurt to do this. Let 
Yo, Adam9638, thanks for 17 months in that prime continuation. Thank you. I think if I uh, mind control the pilot or the engine guy here, it's not going to do anything. Let's just keep it up like this. No med bay, no clone bay. Okay, that's good. One more mind control and a couple hits on the NGM were there. What's up, Vinny Velvet? Alright, one more hit and he's done. Cool ship, man. Pretty unusual to run into a ship that can't damage you at all this early since we only have one shield. Fortunate. Okay, is there any benefit to taking the... The nebula here doesn't look like it. We don't get any extra jumps for that. It's gonna head up to the distress as these don't connect over. So if I'm gonna go back up here, it has to be now. Hey there, Becca Dora, what's up, Great Rain? Let's lead them to their destination. A quest marker added to the map. Okay, I can make it to that. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven before the exit. We're gonna go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that. All right, we're gonna be a hero and attack the pirate here. All right, well, to begin, let's just mind control here to start, and I'm gonna hack weapons. Just want them fighting a little bit. Oh, nice, fire too. All right, he's out of the room. Looks like this is burning down too. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay, so I'm actually gonna let him out of the room here because I don't want him uh, cloning back at full health, ideally. Let's do this real quick. I guess I can do this the easy way, like this. Okay, they have level two clone bay, good to know. How much health here? No. Oh, that's unfortunate, but all right. With the O2 being burned out, I think we're just lost here. I should have just let the ship burn. Could have had the crew kill. Fair enough. Hey, hey, nice double reward regardless. Alright, Asteroid Field. Bit of a jerk move there. Okay, definitely gonna hack weapons here. This going off could take down our, uh, our shield to be problematic. Okay, 
That's not actually the one I wanted to go down. It's alright though. I'm gonna toggle my shields here. Okay, fair enough. Good. Okay, I mean, they are locked out of the room now, so... Maybe there's a way. Looks like we're going to get the mind control out here before he's finished on the repair. Nice. We can drop this door so they start fighting again. Oh, he doesn't even care. That's rude. If I do this. I thought they were going to fight each other there. Guess not. Ah, trying to run then, huh? That's pretty rude. All right, I got a hundred scrap on hand. Let's take uh, this jump at least. I'm probably going back down here, but I want to know if there's a store at this location. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I really should just buy two shields right now, but buying stuff at stores sounds awesome too. All right, trying to shut down our engines. Just continue here. I'm going to start with the mind control on this Manus. And I think I'm just going to try to disjoint the weapons here, uh, even without hitting. So what I do to do that is we're going to, after this fires, I'll start my hack now. So these will be on a opposite timing. And when he breaks in, I'm going to hit him. Keep it simple, keep it cool. to unpin this message too. Here we go. You've been bippity boppin'. That's true, Pin Pin, but can you not make a bunch of noise this afternoon? Thanks. Thanks, Pin Pin. Okay, there is a store. So I'm going to go one, two, three, exit. This quest could also be a store. We'll see. Yeah, no. Not crew, please. Oh, one hole point repair. Cool, man. Weapon pre-igniter reloader. Well, I need weapons before those things are uh, relevant. Crew teleporter is interesting here, but probably not it. We have a lot of ways to manufacture crew kills that aren't boarding on this ship. All right, what's up? Backup battery then, okay. I don't know, crew teleporter is interesting. Thing with crew teleporter is it makes for um, a lot more micro on our run. I am simply going to buy two shields here with our backup battery, and that'll be good for now. Saving up for weapons. All 
I will give you the requested five missiles. 16 scrap, not bad, man, not bad. Pirate controlled or civvy sector. Looks pretty good either way. We don't get locked into a single red choice on the top path, though, so I'm going to take civilian sector. All right. Aid the Federation ship. Hey, another one that can't damage us. Awesome. All right, well, what I'd like to do... I think I hit O2 here and then mind control the person in O2. I can't quite see if there's system repair yet. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so I took it out. There's fire in there as well. Awesome. I did not see the system repair come in. Okay, he's repairing. Okay, there is a system repair drone seen. Okay, we cracked it though. Darn, that miss was tough. Okay, system repairs back. Oh. Why you missed, though? If I hit here, does a crew go to repair it? They do. So, and then if I mind control this guy, I will kill the, the drone here. Oh, he left the room? Surprising. Oh, he finished the repair, that's why. I get it now. Alright, I think my ticket here is getting crew kills via the mind control and the hitting clone bay. Has to be it. Might be enough health left here to pull this off. So that crew is uncloned. Okay. So I'm going to hit piloting now, and then I'll hit... Oh, never mind. Oh, it just got repaired. That's okay. It's actually an okay timing. We're good. Hey, nice double reward off of that. Okay, and an immediate store. Feels good. What is going on with this sector layout, though? It's weird. All right, I should probably take uh, at least one more jump before then. One here and then here. So I'm going to go like one, two, three, four, and then over. Yo, Rodisius, thanks for 46 months. Appreciate you keeping it damper. Thank you. Demand a surrender of their goods. All right, the fact that they are 
trying to run here is kind of tough, but I got a plan. Step one is to hack weapons. Basically, I need to hit here before um, I have mind control so that the other crew tries to come in. Oh, never mind. This didn't work. Yikes. Yikes. Uh. We'll see. Two damage there, too. Yikes. Okay, mind control's also down. I kind of need that. Jump imminent. That's tough. Okay, no double fleet pursuit. That's helpful. Not much to be done there. Okay. Still no weapons here. I'm just gonna let it ride. I don't need repair here either. I'm gonna believe in there being another store. Listen here, Pinpin. Stop yonking. Oh, thanks for bringing stuff, duck. Thanks, Pinpin. What a good kidders. Uh, weapons hack is not ideal, but also not the end of the world. I'm gonna hack their weapons too, then. Okay, after this fires at 10 seconds, uh, I'm now gonna hack to disjoint the weapons. Also, no med bay, no clone bay here. So once he breaks into the room, then I mind control while they're repairing. Okay, I'll let him in. Okay, he's repair repairing, so we start the mind control, now we lock him. And hell, I'm just gonna pepper him while they're in here. Get peppered. Let him back through. All right, Ng's down. Oh, he left the room. Interesting. Mm. All right, there's a store. Okay, one, two, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half still gets us here. You know, I might as well. There's a lot of connecting room here. Take as many jumps as I can before the store. Definitely take that. Oh, snap. Three stores just for me. Long range scanners are good. Flak one also quite good. All right, let's buy long range scanners. Let's also buy Flak one. Oh, we don't have a choice. We're going into a store next. Uh, though uh, we don't really have anything to buy here. I guess I could trade the chain laser for a faster weapon, but 
seems unlikely. Won't be unhappy with getting the thing I needed at the previous store, though this jump is now semi-nullified. Oh man, Heavy Laser 1, actually. Um, if I sold a Chain Laser for Heavy Laser 1, we could have Flak Heavy Laser 1 here pretty soon. Flak Heavy 1's very nice, but, you know, really, Flak Chain Laser is more projectiles, and uh, I would buy this if I had 50 scrap on hand, but I don't think dropping the weapon I have for it is a good idea. It's still very early, and we have hacking. How much for weapon power here? 25. Hmm. Heavy laser is very nice for getting crew kills with uh, the ship too with the mind control. So you get like a breach or a fire star, you can mind control the unit repairing and then it uh, cascades. Definitely considering dropping chain laser for heavy laser because we're one we're that trade plus one fight away from having the flak heavy laser online. Alright, I'm going to do it for all functional purposes. Flak uh, Heavy Laser is going to be extremely similar um, to the setup that we had. It's just faster. I don't know if that's worth 50 scrap right now, but I really love Heavy Laser. It is a good weapon. Yo, another ship that can't damage us? Nice. This time I only have Flak, so until I have Heavy Laser online, very difficult to get a crew kill on any ship that has Medbay or Clone Bay. Though I do have, I do have a play here. I do. hit shields and then I'm gonna swap over to heavy laser here I got him and then I'm gonna mind control the guy in shields okay they're gonna they're gonna rush to oh I just did that it's not of a gun okay it went through anyways okay what's his health at 55 37 All right, so that hurt him. And then I let him in the door, and I hack. So what I want to do now is I want to wait for my hacking to be closer to being up, but I don't want to let him repair the shield bubble. So I'm going to fire out here in just a second, right there. Okay, we got a breach in there too, awesome. I think it's fair to say on the next hit, he's going to be uh, done for. That is a pretty nice offer. Four fuel, six missiles, nine scrap. But no. Okay, now he wants in the med bay again. I'm going to let him. All 
Oh, we're currently playing on hard mode difficulty. It will always be hard mode difficulty on my stream. Uh, for this game, at this current time, anyways. Got uh, 3,600 hours streamed in FTL since 2012. So for me, hard mode is the way. Okay, I'm going to go here and then here. Probably take all three, in fact. There's no reason not to dive here. So I can go one, two, two and a half, three, exit. Let's go ahead and... Now we have Flak Heavy Laser available. glad that we didn't get a store there. Okay, Ion Storm's a bit tricky. Hopefully not Manly Surge and Crew Loss. Okay, Manly Surge. MF Soap is gone. Oh, that's right. Fortunately, your crew was close enough to the ship for the clone bay to revive them. I was uh, actually unaware as we were on a clone bay ship. That makes sense, though. We're attacking the ship. Alright, this one has no med bay, no clone bay either, so we can start with mind control. Columbia saves you from spiders, too, but there are several events where they're, they're not close enough to the ship to, uh, to be saved. Fight, fight, fight. Right, 63 health, so three, three volleys of the heavy laser here. Okay, well, uh, he didn't like that. There's fire in there. He said, no, thank you. Okay. Attack the pirate, dude. You kidding me right now? Hey, another two laser ship that doesn't have, uh... Doesn't have a med bay or clone bay. Pleased. Hmm. That rock's not gonna have any damage on him. That's tough. Okay, what I think I might end up doing here is... Yeah, I'm going to flack into the engines, and then when it hits, I'll mind control uh, the rock. As long as he has an active repair, that'll be fine. Then I can get the, uh, the engineer and the uh, human down there. But if I don't generate a repair here, then it doesn't work that way. Uh, the other option is the heavy laser, the O2, and then mind control. But I think this will be more reliable. Okay. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, now when he's almost there, I'm gonna mind control. Here we go. Yeah. Stunned. This hell's at? 42? How they didn't fight each other? Okay, bud. Okay. Hell yeah, what's up, Maxim? Maxim the Shield Zoltan, whose new name is gonna be what? Durbartuk. All right, we are going into a little bit of a dive here. I'm gonna go ahead and buy two Two hacking and one power bar. Not my preferred purchase, but under the uh, the worst circumstances, having two hacking here is very helpful. All right, double laser halberd, not too bad. If I just hit with the flak once, we're fine here, so I can probably get away with no hacking part. We're good. No reason not to go for a kill here. We only get the one fuel as a reward because it's a dive, but it's a very safe uh, event. Nice. Well, today it marks officially uh, over the halfway point of our winter fragments. We've got 31 streams in the month of December, <laughs> today being the 16th. Uh, we do also have our bonus time coming up on January 1st for all support for the entire month. Like I say, it's been an amazing first half of fragments. Uh, glad to be kicking off our second half today. It's definitely possible, BDB, yes. Okay, Uncharted Nebula. Sector 3, here we go. There won't be a next time. Open fire. All right, this ship is going to be a crew kill. We're going to get pretty easy here. First up, we're just going to vent this guy. I do need to hit weapons here. If this thing gets ramped up, it can actually stop us. There we go. Okay, there's fire in there. Fine. So after he puts this fire out, and they repair this, the uh, the engineer should board us, and at which point we'll kill the engineer, uh, take down the clone bay, and then hit the manus. Hey, 
it's quite a decent amount of time before the uh, that ion can actually take us down fully. Okay, great. Three on one will be plenty. So I'm gonna mind control the manas here. There we go. And when mind control breaks, he should head over to the clone bay, at which point we'll finish off. Oh no, he's on piloting, okay. Got him. Okay, Ion Storm. What's our power at, Tim? Let's get to an uh, odd number of powers so we have a little more power to work with inside the Ion Storm. Since I have long-range scanners uh, this early, definitely going to be chasing down as many fights as I can, especially in the nebulas. Oh yeah, that's a ship. Okay, they have Fire Drone and two lasers. And Missile Launcher. I think I'm going to not go for a crew kill here. Let's do this for now. Okay, I'm still online. That's fine. We did get a breach here. Not enough hole left for crew kill. Yo, 23 scrap, pretty nice reward. Glad you can make it fill the thrill. Cheers, man. I'm gonna come back down here. All right. Well, obviously I want to have scrap for the store. I suppose there's no actual rush here. I can go down this way and then I can come back like this before heading over. Seems fair. Let's uh, set up this distress. What's up, Red Wizard? Yo, Captain Vlad Tepe, thanks for 35 months. Sorry if I missed you earlier there. Investigate. Uh, you want to join my crew? Charlie the Wrench Engineer. What a lad. Right, let's rename Charlie here to Thanatos. Nice one. Okay, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight before the exit. And really, we're probably diving, so it's more like nine if this is number eight. That's really nine jumps. So I can go like one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, something like that. Is there any reason not to take this right now? Go one, two, three, see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I can just take the fights in the store. Ship's not not easy, but it's honestly not that terrifying. It's gonna hang in here. Okay, it didn't work out. Fair enough. This is an ion bomb I may need to consider hacking. Never mind. gonna wait just a second here. Not looking for full training or anything, but a partial on this combat drone would be nice.
be happy with just pilot engines being finished. Miss. If they have a laser, they definitely can hit me here with the, uh, the drone, no doubt. It's the wrong drone to go down, partner. Get our little halfway train there. Nice. Fully trained on pilot engines is a 10% increase to all dodging capabilities as long as those systems are manned. Quite excellent. Okay, I'll take this jump before the store. Okay, we're going to attack the ship. Look at this setup, though. Pretty rude. Pretty rude. Well, if I take either of the weapons down, we're relatively safe. So I'm just going to hack weapons here and then... Mind control the pilot and hit. That'll do it, all three then. Okay. He, did he make it back? He did, good. Oh, he died there, fair enough. Okay, I should be able to get a crew kill here. It takes a long time for them to repair, and by the time that bubble's almost repaired, the mind control should be back active. In which case, we will get uh, another fight happening. Yep. Then we let him in the room. Same process here. Oh, he's gonna go repair the weapons now, isn't he? Alright, so what I needed to do here is wait for one pip on the weapons to be repaired so that the fighting unit would stay in that room and they'd both go there. Not really a big deal, but... Six fuel, six missiles, 14 scrap, but you're dead, sir. Too late. Yep. Those are definitely weapons. Okay, good enough for now. Okay, this one does have med bay and boarding. Their weapon system's not super good. I wouldn't say it's bad either, though. Let's begin by mind controlling it here. Oh, interesting. That was not my expectation. Okay, he did manage to uh, knock out the medbay there. It's interesting. Right. Oh, 
was not my smartest play. All right, let's mind control this guy now. There we go. Well, I think it is fair to say the O2 is pretty low right now. Didn't get him. Should have. Okay, that got him. All right, so this is gonna take a long time for him to finish the repair here. Hoping this comes back online first, it did. Okay, this is fine. He's gonna have to break out the door, and then he's gonna have to go in the O2 room, then I give him, you know, seven seconds or so, then mind control. And then it breaks the repair cycle. Okay, now I mind control. Oh, an unexpected crew kill, that was nice. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's see, it's four jumps to this one. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, and still make this jump. That's cool. Really no reason not to hack weapons. It's a chance not to get by this. It also severely re uh, diminishes repair speed for the automated vessel. Huh. Auto scouts do have evasion, that's fair. Das fair. Boom. Well, I got a fair amount of scrap right now, but I really want to save for a store because getting one more weapon right now uh, sets us off. Okay, what's going on in this ship? Uh, no med bay, no clone bay. They're sending out boarding drone, though. Boarding drone's pretty annoying. I also have a slug, so I can't mind control that unit appropriately. Let's see where the boarding drone lands. Alright, NO2 is a little bit uh, weird. I am going to hack piloting here. Okay, that depower him, it did. Good. Might as well mind control the one unit that can be mind controlled. Okay, if I got like a, a righteous breach here, maybe. Six fuel, six missiles, 13 scrap. I'm actually going to take this deal. It's not the highest scrap offer, but six missiles brings us above the 15 missiles for the cell event, and six fuel is worth 18 scrap. As a fact. Okay, the real deal. Thanks for 62 months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thank you, dude.
Repugnant, arm the weapons. You can't just go around space calling people repugnant, okay? Can't do that. Can I get a crew kill here? Maybe. I think more important to me right now is just to disable that missile launcher, though. Okay, look at these two bars. This is also a uh, Lado. Or is it an Artemis? It's an Artemis. I'm gonna try to hit O2 here and see if I can pull it off that way. That's really the, the main route at the moment. Okay. I wonder if I get this, uh, this off in time. Okay, he repaired his O2. Fair. Looking like no crew kill here, and that's fine. Alright, another fight before the exit. Beautiful. Very nice uh, scrap, this sector. Alright, uh, it was sent here to warn of our passing, means that they are going to try to run. We're just going to go ahead and do this. Okay, battery got hit, whatever. Okay. Well, we see the plan now. Dodge one. Thank you, game. It's always nice when FTL listens. So, uh, great question, uh, K9. What getting crew kills does, it opens up a further loot table. So if you just explode the ship with your weapons, you get whatever the reward was for the event. And then if you get a crew kill, uh, you can get that same reward you would for exploding the ship, or you can get uh, high fuel and scrap, you can get a crew, you can get weapon, drone part, etc. And a very simplified way to look at it, you get about 15% more scrap on average for killing uh, ships, but the value in the early game is the possibility of extra equipments, especially weapons, is the main benefit. There are also definitely times where getting a crew kill results in less scrap than blowing up the ship, but the potential extra rewards are generally um, very worth it. Dude, that is triple missile launcher, and that is pretty rude. Um... All right, I'm going to level two weapons hack. I was debating shield hack here to try to simplify it, but I mean, game's being rude is all. Okay, that's helpful. It's something. Stops us from getting absolutely rallied here. Okay, good. One set of missiles, no problem. They have level 302.
All right, good dive. That could have gone considerably worse if we missed our first volley and all three missile launchers stayed online. But they didn't. All right, 168 scrap and a store. Here we go. Drone control, med base, sensors, stealth weapons, drone recovery arm, and defense drone. All right. Well, we are definitely light on weapons for Sector 4. This is where I may start regretting selling the chain laser, but I don't think this is worse than the chain laser was in any way. Would really like... I mean, I guess drone recovery arm and drone control uh, could be something. Hard to invest into using a drone setup when we're also using hacking so excessively. Even with drone recovery arm, you do end up losing parts to projectiles and stuff. Very quick restroom break for me, and then we'll head into Sector 4. I think I'm just going to hold out for my next door here and... Hope for the best. All right, we back. Is there anything I want to buy with 168 scrap here? I don't know. Three hacking is almost tempting because in a very bad situation, three hacking can save us. And also O2 kill reasons. Three shields is probably the smart purchase. Let's take at least one more jump here to see store possibilities. Okay, scary. Hmm. I just have a feeling this fight might be longer than I want it to be start with this. Okay, nice. Good hits. Wow. I really thought the cloak was going to go off first there, but it didn't. Hey, thanks, Ophelian. Hope you're having a good one, too. 
we're doing our Christmas dinner tomorrow. Looking forward to that. In fact, that's why the stream started at 2 instead of 12 today. I was in the kitchen making some mushroom gravy. Okay. does connect over. I mean, I should probably just take the more fights. Alright, tell you what, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to buy the power for it yet, but I am going to buy three shields. Intervene and defend the outpost. Okay, what a stupendous time to have three shields. No hacking part required. Just gotta hold out till we actually hit them. one of these times. Okay. Since we have three shields, we just have to wait until we land our volley. We're seeing the complication of our weapon system right now, though. Without a piloting hack, this is a pretty impossible ship if they were going to deal damage to us. At least we do have hacking to uh, make up for it. Yeah, fair enough, Ophelia, and my, uh, my daughter's getting braces here in a few days, so we're doing all of our food stuff early before she gets those. Because how sad would it be to get brand new braces and not really be able to eat much, and then uh, have Christmas dinner right afterwards. Glad to say I'm not a monster, so we're eating early. Seventeen thirty-two. I'm just gonna keep chasing the scrap train. Here we go. You know, a scout here would not be bad because it could let us know if there's another store. But we have to give up this fight in order to do that. I don't know. I don't know about that. You know, with the way the rest of the sector looks, I don't think this is necessary at all. We're just going to fight the ship. Okay, they got quite a bit of stuff going on. I see that. Let's go here. Actually, let's go uh, hack on weapons again, because I can mind control the pilot. 
think weapon hack is our best chance not to take crew damage. Or not to take hull damage, rather. Okay, we did get a breach there. That's nice. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. No surrender. Okay, if I can take the O2 out, there's definitely a chance here of getting a crew kill. In fact, this room is draining, so they have level 102 only. It is a strong possibility I can get a kill on this room just with the hacking here. More on that in a minute. How much else do you have? 24? Okay, great. This is great. Okay, this guy needs to die in, on our ship, though. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to um, close off the doors here. I'm going to select these four. We're going to collapse into the um, room here. I'm going to let this engineer into the room with the fires and the O2 draining. I don't want him to break down the door. I want him to be stuck in here when the, the O2 goes out. Yeah, he's not making it out that door. Yeah, what's up, Jack the Human? Go repair this breach. Prove yourself. Alright, what's Jack's name here? Uh, Sizzle, they accomplish the same thing, so it's really about what system you want to disrupt or which area you want to disrupt on the enemy ship. All right. Hey, that's what I wanted to see. Weapons, weapons, weapons. All right, no weapons here. Hmm. Well, um, is, is, is getting cloaking wrong here? I don't think so. I don't think so. It is our final subsystem. It's definitely the one we want. I can barely afford it. If I'm not going to get a weapon, this is the survivability increase I need. One really nice thing about the uh, cloaking pickup is now when we run into three or even four shield ships, I can hack shields and still have a volley go through because I can, instead of hacking weapons, cloak their first volley. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. What if we went up top? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's too much of a gap between these two jumps in order to uh, make up the distance in between. So the only true way to get the most out of this map is to take the bottom route. I don't think I'll be diving here either. So let's just go like one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. Yo, what's up, Volt? Thanks for that Prime sub, man. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that. Thank you. Let's see where their hack lands. Okay, mind control's not powered, so no counter here. I am going to hack piloting on this one.
Awesome. Us getting a breach there means that this will never repair itself. Oh, they brought it back online. That's tough. That'll do. Eh, okay. Alright, civvies, anytime you want, you guys can, like, I don't know. You can, you can toss me, uh, toss me a weapon here. Alright, so I think our plan just changed. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Overtaken. Uh, okay. Oh, this one's inside the ring. So here's our adjustment. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and then we get six anyways. Because the six is inside the ring. I lose a jump if I take it this way. Because I go one, two, three, and then four, five, and then we dive. And if I just go one, two, three, four, there we go. Three jumps before a store, which will totally have weapons for us. No doubt. Attack him before he can attack. Attack the attacker. Attacking. Alright, so here I gotta do two damage to be safe. But if I do two damage, I should be completely safe, or mostly safe. So we will hack piloting here, and then I will cloak their opening volley. Okay, we also got a breach in there, which is pretty nice. So once he gets in here to repair, I'm going to mind control, so they're fighting. Nice. Alright, now we go for a shield hit. <laughs> they have, like, no dodge whatsoever. I like these guys. You guys are alright. Yep, all slug-style ships have slug repair gel. That is a fact of FTL. That wasn't technically a slug ship, but it was a slug-style vessel. What do we have for bonus time right now? I haven't looked today. Let's see here. Boy, howdy, almost 30 hours of bonus time. We're not even halfway through. Probably actually are halfway through. For all support this entire month, uh, all shared resubs, prime gifted, uh, subs otherwise, all forms of donation add to that timer, which will start on January 1st to extend our fragments out. It's going to be a very fun and very extended fragments. You can just tell. You can just tell.
All right, the ship can't damage us. That's awesome. How am I going to pull off a crew kill here? Should just be a medbay hack. Pretty straightforward. Yo, RN Grizzly, thanks for 64 months. Burkush, thanks for the seven months as well. Too kind, too kind. Got some very fun stuff planned for next year as well. But first, you know, all of Fragmas. Okay, so the plan is I'm going to mind control here. And they're all going to have a little party inside the piloting room. And then I'm going to load my hacking back up. All right, now we're going to let him in the room. Except it's going to be like a microwave in there. Tough. All right, now I just got to hit the pilot to the point that he wants to go to the med bay. And once that happens, we will uh, do the same thing. actually get him in the med bay right now what i have to do is run the zoltan up here and then mind control him and then toggle the power out when he's inside the med bay i'm gonna not do that because it takes it's more intense and it's not required here okay now he wants in the med bay i will oblige gonna board with two here this one should also be a pretty straightforward crew kill because they have no med bay or clone bay but uh let's go ahead and hack weapons here for safety reasons their weapon system is not jokey I'm debating if I want to start with a pilot mind control or not. I do, I do. Let's make sure we get action there. Oh, we got most of them. I think they're going to try to finish their repair before they go back to teleporting. That's how this works. I'll give a minute, though. Oh, no, they're going to teleport. Good. Okay, let's just collapse on them. Should be an easy kill here. And with that, I can now mind control the person in here. We'll drop the doors to let him in. Okay, how much health on this guy? 95. 30, 60, 90. Okay, we got this. The fire actually helps us out, because when the mind control goes down, he's going to try to repair the fire. And I will let him. Boop. You've been bippity bobson Weapons, please. Well, these definitely are weapons, just not the weapons I wanted. D 
Do I buy Pegasus Missile? I might. Oh my god, I think I'm buying Pegasus Missile here. Yeah. Pegasus Missile actually works here. We have missiles to work with. It fires two missiles of two damage each, so it's a four damage bop on any particular system. Uh, with the cloaking and hacking, we can get two of these off basically before the enemy has a functional volley. So this keeps us in the game versus higher shield ships. You can even begin with the Pegasus and swap to the Flak Heavy, which would be, uh, I think, the route at the moment. What I wanted at this store was just even like one burst laser one, another heavy laser, another flak uh, would have put us in a very good position. But I think this is definitely correct. Let's go ahead and get to 23 here. Let's go ahead and how much for three weapons right now? 35, 50, 75. So that's 160 plus scrap. Um, well... Having said that out loud, let's go ahead and get level 2 backup battery. No, this is the same cost for uh, permanent power as it is for temporary power currently. Okay, 1, 2. Giant alien spiders, we succeeded! Storage cash for military goods? Sign me up, dude. Sign me up. Okay, only three laser beams plus missile launcher. So there's the technicality they could hit us. We do not need to use a hacking part here if we damage weapons at all, which is very likely. As we've proven on some previous uh, fights here, this weapon system can fight or fire twice under one cloak duration. All right, well, no no weapon for us there, fair. I'm gonna go Pyre Control over Abandoned Sector. I don't mind Abandoned Sector. It's just Lanius Bomber is a very serious vessel and uh, being boarded right now is, uh, well, not fun. Uh, Twainaga, if I have Clone Bay, I always roll on the spiders because it will save your crew in that case. But if I don't have Clone Bay, uh, pretty rare, I'll do the spiders, pretty rare. Yo, Epiphany, thanks for that seven-month resubscription. Thank you, thank you. Hope you're having an excellent afternoon or evening, whatever it is for you. We're attacking the pirate. Double Mantis. Really? Okay, well, with that, I should be able to bop their crew out like this. Maybe I even lock them in there with a hack. It's just worth a hacking part to me. Mm. This is worth a hacking part to me because it ends the fight right now. Okay, so they're both going to be below 30 here. a store. You got weapons, dude? You have weapons. I like this guy. Thanks, buddy. All right, well, it's going to be Flak 1. I'd love to buy Heavy Laser 2 as well. We're just not there. I also think I'll just sell off the Pegasus. 
Though there may be a case use for the Pegasus yet. Let's not sell the Pegasus until we at least have the flak online. And that's going to be in 85 scrap. Doo -doo. Okay, they shut down our engines here. This ship also has no med bay, no clone bay. Alright. Also, with this laser setup, it's really unlikely to hit us. So, I think I'm going to do an O2 hack kill here. Uh, I could continually mind control the crew. Well, let's think about this real quick. Okay, where'd they board at? In piloting? That's a really annoying board. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to mind control this guy. There we go. I'm going to try hit O2 here. Okay, so I did hit O2, and they're uh, coming over. Alright, Operation Meat Shield is active. Okay, there they are. Okay, they're not going to board again. That's it right there. Yeah, I'm just going to take my chance here. If it looks like I might get hit, I'll cloak, but they haven't timed out their weapons yet. I can't really think of a weapon system where flak wouldn't be beneficial. It's uh, just very simply one of the fastest projectile uh, generators in the game. It's three projectiles at 10 seconds. Well, it's not terribly uh, accurate. It's definitely good. All right, only the Zoltan remains. Okay, here it is. At least we dodge one there. Wicked. We'll just remove their crew one by one, then. So, I, I do like the idea of getting up here into these nebulas, but what I don't like is that I have to go through a pulsar to do that. So I'm probably going to be skipping these. Just go, like, uh, one, two, maybe three here, and then cut back in and over. One more fight. It's not an asteroid field, and I can bring the flak online. And once we have flak, flak, heavy laser, uh, we're in a much safer position. Yo, Salty Hive, thanks for 75 months. 75. Thank you. Yeah.
This is the use case for the Pegasus right here. So I can guarantee to take their missile launcher down with it. And if I get breaches, I'll swap over to hit uh, O2 as well. Okay, I'm gonna hack. I'm also gonna cloak here, so there's not even a chance of that firing. Okay, there's fires in this room. Let's start mind control on the rock then. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You guys got issues. Well, darn. The clone bay uh, is still active. I guess I'll do this and hope for a breach. Got him. Black 2 is uh, good in conjunction with other slower firing weapons, like let's say... Um, it's quite good with Glaive. But its slow fire rate is definitely to its detriment. Okay, fire is in the O2 room. That's good. I wish I could see his HP right now. Okay, he's trying to go in there. That means there's fire in this room. He's dead. Better lucky than good, I'll keep saying and meaning it. Alright, it is time for two weapon power, and now we have flak, flak, heavy laser online. Definitely shy on power, but operational. I like this jump a lot. It's a little bit variable, PDB, but phase one, you cloak the missile launcher. Phase two, you cloak the drones. Phase three, you cloak the tin laser shot. I think I'm actually going to go here and then cut back down through the uh, pulsar. Yeah, I'm willing to take a pulsar now that I have double flak. I can fire this before the pulsar goes off. Oh, don't worry. DeBartuck's back. Just entered the clone zone. Way to be, bud. It's actually perfect spacing for not diving. Interesting. Okay. So if I do two damage to their weapons here, the missile launcher goes down. And to ensure that happens, I will hack uh, piloting here. Oh, hey, I need to power my weapons too, I guess. Uh, no. That was a weak-ass surrender for this sector. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. You've been eviscerated. All right, to the asteroid field. We're free of ion damage indeed. Okay, Combat 2 is a very serious drone.
my cloak here, because my first volley should disable their stuff. There we go. Feeling better already. Sometimes it's better to cloak before they are able to hit you at all. Though often you cloak the actual volley. Sometimes you don't need to. position here. Me dang. Hey, awesome, Dark Z. Glad you could be here for some relaxing FTL today. Glad to be sharing this time place. Very busy day for me earlier this afternoon. Glad to be relaxing with some video games. That's nice. Glad you could be here to share it. Alright, well, we ain't surrendering crew to schlappers, that's for sure. Except that one time and the other time. We're not going to talk about those. Oh, hey. Probably helps I have my weapons powered. Um, alright. Yeah, I'm going to buy power right after this fight. Good. And a breach went off, huh? Let's uh, mind control the manis in there. Alright, they opted to board. No, I'm gonna wait for my heavy laser here. I don't feel like I'm at any risk at the moment. Am I, though? Alright, I'm gonna say Surrender is not an option here. We get a guaranteed high scrap reward from this, and we're already at 6 crew. Uh, I also just breached their O2, which is interesting and a possible crew kill. Uh, I'm doubtful right now I can actually get that, but it's possible. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of dead crew in there, man. Okay, this repair got messed up, too. Wow. All right, he died. Seems like they're pretty much done for. Yeah, they're done. Awesome. All right, so we got a high scrap reward and a crew anyways. All right, Marcus needs a name here. That name is going to be Carrot. It's a good human name. How many power bars do I want right now to be staple? Looks like three. Can get away with two. We'll do two for now. I'm going to buy my fourth engine power bar here too, so I can get to 100% dodge on cloak. That's a good amount to be at. Intruders on board. Alright, this is not a small amount of intrusion. Though, if I cut the O2 and then go over here, we should be aight. 
I'm going to mind control here, and then I'm going to close this door, which will keep them fighting in here. There we go. Well, that wasn't perfect, but it was pretty good. Perfect's taking no crew damage at all. I missed they were hitting doors, though. Alright, how many jumps till the exit? One, two, three, four. Alright. Might just dive here to dive. We got a pretty great setup at the moment for doing so. So, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, exit. Let's, let's uh, commit to that right now. Let my O2 stabilize before I jump, too, because I'm a smart and responsible captain, occasionally. Good enough. Destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. They didn't like that. Alright, there are several routes to getting a crew kill potentially here. But they do have six laser beams and a missile launcher, so I think hitting weapons is uh, quite important here. Maybe I hack weapons, and that'll slow down the uh, O2. Yeah, let's do this. I've got a planes. Okay, I was early on that. Fair. Okay, there's fire in this room. I think having the Mantis in the O2 room right now is smart. Let's do this. I'm going to let him in here. And then I'm going to mind control the engineer. Whom is in there. Okay, let's let the Mantis in. And then we're going to lock the doors again. Hack. I'm going to leave this door locked because the rock is going for the fires inside the O2 room. Uh, I'm sure on that one. And I'd prefer not. Oh, yeah. We will not accept surrender. Okay, the Manus wants out of the room now. That's weird. That went as well as it possibly could have. And the fires are slowly, well, not so slowly, consuming the remaining oxygen in the weapons room. Oh, amazing spread there. Really fortunate. Hey there, Willie and Murderface. Glad you could tune in. Yo, what's up, Lauren, the engine wrench mantis? Now let's get Lauren a name here. It's going to be Field Medic 4077.
pretty good. All right, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Here, exit. Looks like a clean ride. Yo, Spartan 117, thanks for eight months and that prime continuation. Thank you, thank you. Okay, possible store quest in the next sector scene. Long range scanners. Boom. Your advanced leaders pick a faint life signature inside the cargo. Life forms appear to be armed. Land pirate ambush. Destroy those crates, man. You fire on the crates, breaking them open and scattering the pirates into empty space. Whoops. A pirate ship appears out of nowhere with a message. You will pay for that. Debatable. All right, well. For the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to do a medbay hack here. Mind control the pilot. Two, three it is. We got going on asteroid field here. Yo, Garangatang, thanks for 75 months, three quarter century. Thank you, dude. All right, let's go for weapon hack again here. It's a similar situation to the previous ship, except for this time they have a missile launcher. We're going to open with the slam on the weapons. Okay, it did work. Miss. Yeah, I think we just did a little too much damage here to take out the uh, crew. As nice as that would be. Basically one last chance for a breach here. Yeah, no, it's not happening. Big bada boo. Yo, walking wall. Thanks so much for that double gift sub to Wagner and wise homie David and Crawfish. Thanks for 58 months as well. Thank you. Oh, stores. All laser ones definitely acceptable. It's also very good at causing breaches. This increases our crew kill potential. Let's uh, sell Pegasus here, pick up whole laser one. We'll get that online a little bit here. Ion Intruder Drone. Very nice. Let's 
Six engines cloaking is safe for a dive, so I might just take that instead of the uh, three hacking right now. Uh, double acting. Uh, med bays uh, would be bad on this ship, yes, because it's only a one crew slot. In fact, it's the only ship that has the one crew slot. But uh, whether you have med bay or cloak or cloning, um, you generally don't replace with the other system because you're paying scrap for something you already have access to. Both med bay and clone bay protect your crew in different ways, but they serve the same purpose on the ship. This ship having the one slot clone bay is a further detriment. Uh, I have I have never replaced clone bay with med bay. I have replaced med bay with clone bay a few times though. Okay, let's do this. Level two backup battery. That's the stuff. Okay. Okay, Vulcan Heavy Laser Missile Launcher. I am going to partition a hacking part here just to make this safer. We didn't have that smaller missile launcher I could get away without, because we're going to get away before the ASB goes off. You know, I actually could have just used the uh, cloaking here, since we get out before the ASB. No hacking part required. Oh, earliest possible ASB. I take it back. It was a good thing we did. Yeah, it was. Yeah, sure, see, so clone bay is generally preferred, but med bay is definitely good as well. Clone bay being very good does not make med bay bad, if that makes sense. All right, let's attack. Okay, we got a breach in O2. That's really good. He's not going to finish hitting that down. I'm actually going to try to just hit O2 again here and then uh, mind control the unit repairing it. There it is. Okay, let's go here. Okay, he's not going to finish this repair. It's already It's already down. Got to finish the breach, too. If he was just repairing the O2 and not the breach, he'd make it. Nice surrender, but no. Okay, as soon as I see a crew die, I will... Uh, hit their clone bay. I fire a, a full volley right here. Hmm. Okay, I'll have time to use a hacking part in a secondary volley if I need to. Once they don't have a pilot, at most they're going to have maybe 20 dodge if they have a good dodge ship. Unlikely here. All right. Let's 
Is he full up on shields? Good for him. Darn. Okay, uh, the Zoltan died first, and he can't finish the O2 repair, so I can do... I can either... <laughs> Let's wait one more volley here. There we go. I'm gonna say, even if the Zoltan cloned, I would still have time to hack and then guarantee that clone bay goes down before the human spawns. Alright, this looks pretty nice. What do I want to store right now? It's probably like automated reloader and not much else. Also, getting up here to these nebulas does give us more room. I'm willing to skip this store. I have plenty of stuff I need to buy already. Could maybe even come back down to it? Hmm. Yeah, it's not required. Alright, so they're going to shut off our clone bay here. Jerks. And they're in the weapons room. Let's just leave and open this up. Close him off. Hey, glad you're like those games, Walking Wall. Thanks for being a part of it, dude. Appreciate that. There's absolutely an O2 kill here. Here we go. Okay, level two. Perfect. Nice. Okay, the missile launcher is down. That's what I care about. Missile launcher was down. All right, we've defended our ship. So once he finishes his repair, I just start hacking again. And uh, that'll be the end of the O2 on their vessel. Yeah, I needed that one to hit, unfortunately. Okay, he's dead as well. That'll do it. That'll do it. Ooh. All right. I'll go here, and then we can get some jumps on our way over to these. Also, a really spectacular dive opportunity here. It's not that we need anything from the store, it's just convenient to go to right now, and Hull Laser 1, there are better weapons for us in the game. If we find them, they'll have an intruder drone. Alright, this store is a, a biggie bust. All right, 147 scrap and no store in sight or in our near future. It is 165 plus power for the whole laser. Uh, let's go ahead and buy three cloaking right now and two power bars. Looks good. Three hacking, excuse me. And then I'll get our weapons online next. Uh, drink to our alliance? Okay, I'll drink here. They stole scrap from me, but they didn't- they stole more than I had. I'll- I'll allow it. Slug instigator, I'll say. 
I'll say. Alright. Yeah, all right. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to hack weapons and then I'm going to hit O2. Uh, wow, I was going to mind control their crew, but let's not. All right, let's do it this way. What I want here is the flax to land before the heavy laser. Heavy laser didn't even land. I'm going to say so that the engineer is repairing weapons. There we go. Okay, there's fire in there. If there wasn't fire in that room, they would not be rushing to it that way, I don't think. We'll see. You know, we're not going to get a crew kill here, are we? Okay, they're going up there. Why? Let's mind control the engineer. Let's let him finish this repair, then we'll mind control the engineer. Okay. He's going to destroy one more pip here, which is what I need. Fine, I got cloaking and stuff here, too. I can just mind control in this room. We're probably gonna have a pretty good time. Okay. Let's mind control here. There we go. Good clip there. That's the game. Get crew kill, just stinky manus aggressor. Black gun mark one. That is definitely the weapon I was hoping to see. That reward was 100% uh, because we got the crew kill. Okay, option four here will show us a weapon, but right now I don't want... want that. I want a fight here. I'm going to O2 kill. I missed. Okay. Uh oh, spaghettios. Wow. Hey, 
Hey, Tai Yi the Slug. Alright, we're gonna replace uh, Field Medic here. Is it 4077? Yeah. Right on, man. Right on. Let's put Slug on doors. We're gonna have the Roaming Repair NG now. So, just saving up for that weapon upgrade. Captain Cutlass, thanks for 39 months. Happy Fragmas to you as well, dude. Hope you're having a good one too, Lunar Winds. Thanks for stopping in. I, I could see getting a crew kill here, but they don't have very much hull, and it becomes quite complicated. Let's just save a hacking part on this fight. Just going to hit their weapons and get a kill here. Oh, well, that did happen. Double fires. I'm going to say in the off chance I can get a breach, that would be cool. They have a system repair drone I just saw uh, filtering out of this room. So I'm glad I didn't use the hacking part now because the system repair drone makes it almost impossible to get this kill under these circumstances. O2 hack could pull it off on a ship that couldn't damage us, but uh, Vulcan definitely can damage us. Double missile launcher is quite intense. Just go for the engine hack and get a good good hit here. All right. Do you see that light up green? It almost almost got there, man. Close call. Alright, if I uh, mind control this dude, are they going to fight each other or nah? No, okay. Okay, so what, is there fire in there? There is. Okay, fire in the O2 room with the NG being locked out is an interesting prospect. Okay, let's let him out. Is he going around to the med bay? He is. Let's see what his health's at. 90. Well, is there a way to do this? Not really. This room is out of O2, because there was a breach in there. Let's just get the kill here. Forty-six twenty-one. these guys are alright. Alright, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna go like one, two, three, so I can maneuver back here to my exit. Let's skip this distress for the quest. 
All right, free reactor upgrade. That's all right. Ooh, Ion Storm. One, two, three, four. Before this one, so this would be one. Sorry, one half, one and a half, two. Can go three, four, or three, four, and still make this one. It's 165 right now, a uh, cheesy bomb for the next flak. I mean, I could get a halfway upgrade to have three flaks and no heavy laser, but in my opinion, no functional difference. Intruders on board. Right, where are they going? Weapons room? Let's let them in. Letting them in to mind control them. Get the uh, defense team set up here. I'm just going to buy it here. Alright, five missiles, two drum parts for reactor upgrade. I agree. Trading non-scrap resource for scrap is exactly the kind of thing I want to do. All right, so this ship has cloaking, and they also hacked our O2 before I upgraded level 202. That's okay. I do have the triple flak set up now. I should probably just counter hack. Yeah, let's do that. Go like this. Really only have to dodge this, so uh, 10 projectiles should be good. We also know I can fire these 10 projectiles before they uh, are able to cloak a second time. So I get 20 projectiles out on their ship before anything uh, really bad happens. Okay, that's an awkward place for that fire to go. Uh, it's a double fire. They're going to get damage in here then. It's fine. Just open this up. Okay, I think I'm a little late on this. I'm gonna let him cloak. Oh, you did. You did. Fair. Hey, congrats on your victory, PDB. Nice run, man. Ah, I see. So we're not making this jump beforehand. Fair enough. Okay, here's what I can do. Actually, I don't know about that. Not a nebula. I don't mind diving with the setup. I think I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then hop back here for a dive. Especially diving inside Nebula, that's no big deal to double dive. No sweat.
O2 hack. Okay, it's only level one. Awesome. I'm going to mind control this unit. Ready to defend here. One guy made it back, that's fine. Ah, uh, that may cause him to abandon to the med bay. Okay, maybe not though. Him can bamboozled. What's up, Aisha? Well, you can own this new ship we just got. Fully trained and repair, though. All right, let's uh, let's make you the new patho. All right, I'm going to mute for just a moment. I have a fresh roll, which is much more important than you all. So be right back. All right, this just in, hot off the presses. Bread is good. All hail carbohydrates. Nope, no butter for me. Bread's just fine. All right, let's attack the pirate. Okay, this, this ship is not dangerous, but with how much hull they have, we are not getting a crew kill here. Happening. What I should get though is a disable on the weapons. Maybe instead of a disable on the weapons, I should just go for um, a triple flak here. Enemy FTL delayed. Burst laser mark one. Okay, that's not it, but cool weapon. Cool weapon. I'm going to take this jump and then double dive because that's where this runs at. I have 10 projectiles and an incredibly fast timer. So before we do this, let's get value O2, value cloaking, value piloting, value mind control. All right. These are both in the Nebula 2, so there's no um, anti-ship battery here. Let's see here. Okay, this is fine. There's uh, no way that their weapons stay online here. All those weapons actually time out together. Interesting. Very interesting. Ah. 
Bonk. Oh, you dead. Okay, this next one will not have an ASB. Or, sorry, this will have an ASB. My dang. Um, so with this, I can get out of here with six engines powered without using a hacking part if I just cloak this. Maybe I should use a hacking part for prosperity, though. Let's see how the first volley goes. Not as well as I would have hoped, but good enough, I think. All right, I'm going to jump away. I would have hacked weapons. I could have got the kill there, but it's only a one fuel reward. Slug controlled nebula sounds I. Cool, man. Nice looking sector here. Okay, so we're going to be hitting the exit from this side. Okay, improved oxygen. Just bought that last sector. This ship super can't damage us. Gonna hack O2, make my life simple. Okay, it's level two, fair enough. Nice. So, like, it gets this repair, but right as the hat comes back online. It was a bad time for him. Who we missed. Be surprised. It's a lot of projectiles to miss there, buddy. Is somebody else going to wander over to the O2 now, or have they just given up? They've given up. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, they're boarding, they're... They've shut down our clone bay, so we're just going to vent them then. Oh, don't go that way, go this way. There you go. Oh, it's because I pulled the from that side first. I gotcha. That's fine then. Oh-ho, now what? Oh. 
Oh, they made it in, okay. Level 302, wow. <laughs> wow, that was a very sneaky sneeze. My apologies. Yo, test face killer. Thanks for 59 months. Appreciate that. Get wrecked. This ship does have an amount of laser beams a little bit concerning, but, uh, yeah, we're just going to weapons hack and then hit the O2. I say concerning, but it's not that bad. Okay, there we go. Okay, why is he trying to leave the room? I'm going to let him leave the room. Excuse me? What? You're supposed to stay out of there, sir. Okay. So there's fire in this room. I guarantee it. it means once they enter here, I'm going to mind control the engineer. Okay, I'm gonna mind control the mantis. That's what I meant to say. Okay, the engineer died here. This is over. Sure, you guys can come on in. Oh, man. All right. Tough day to be that guy. Oh, Reagan, though? Oh, Reagan now owns a Manus bomber. That's pretty cool, dude. All right, I'll hit a story here on the off chance there's another flak. I mean... This run's already pretty broken open, but what if there was another one? Heavy laser, honestly, not bad here. Let's sell whole laser, burst laser, anti-personnel drone. Uh, let's buy a few fuel here. We'll go to 11. I'm actually going to go to 12 fuel. I don't need fuel after this sector, but there's a lot of uh, meat left in this sector here. If I was a little uh, shyer on scrap, I would have... Counted how many jumps, made a decision from there, but we're not. Let's just get four shields next. All right, let's just go for a regular old kill here. No part.
One more store, then. Might as well just take it now. There's nothing I can't purchase for 209 scrap. Okay, automated reloader is a big old yep here. This puts us well within the range of getting two full volleys off during the same cloak duration. Or hack duration, excuse me. Station sounds good. Seems unlikely we'd need to hack here. That's nice. Mind control does not cost any parts, no. A couple of reasons you don't use every fight. One, slugs can't be mind controlled, and sometimes you withhold it to counter mind control yourself. And sometimes it's just not necessary to have a crushing victory at this point. Um, I'm gonna decline here. Already been stolen from once by slugs today. Alright, it's gonna go for the kill. There's definitely a crew kill here with hacking, but... Might be able to get four here in the exit. I'm gonna go like this though. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four here and then dive. Long range scanners up, Magmar. Get back out there. You were doing great in the nebula. You were doing great, bud. Okay, I get two volleys off before they cloak again. I'm just going to go for it. Uh, there is also a crew kill here for a hacking part, but I'm kind of past the desire for that. Wow. Oh, okay, their cloaking's down. I was like, really? I get three charges? Not quite. Not quite. Four shields, two power bars. Sensor subsystem. I don't even have sensors, bro. Ooh, 
Forest Flak right here? Could happen. It could happen. Okay, no Forest Flak, but we can sell off this here. Uh... All right, I'm going to take this fight and double dive. Wait, the rebel fleet was prepared for the nebula sector, so it won't be as effective a hiding spot. Does that mean it's overtaken? I'm not seeing the red on this, but I think that second bottom, the bottom text indicates that it's already overtaken. Yeah, it's really close. By level two clone bay here. I'll buy despite the power bars, I'll fix the engines later. Okay, that's the base text for the nebula sector. Alright, very well then, I will do this. For the love of greed, he's already had a very um excessive run here. <laughs> oh, he repaired our hole and there's a flag for sale? Oh man. Can I get this if I sell everything here? Let's see, 25, 20, that's 45, 60. Yeah, man, okay, okay, okay. I do have to get enough power to power it, but whatever. Hmm, what do they got going on here? Let's just hack this. Four flax is incredibly uncommon. It's hard to find that many of the same weapon. All right. Now we go here. Okay, they're going to board again, huh? Let's just do same plan. Okay, to Sector 8. Okay, there's no way we don't get 100 scrap here. It'd be very unlikely. Forty-two right there, hell yeah. Um Yeah, that's tough. I'm gonna go here. I wanna get over to the base as quickly as possible. I know that we have extra jumps, but if these jumps are getting overtaken after the repair, uh could lock us out of getting the flak online, which would be uh well, unfortunate. Alright, here's the hoping I don't take damage on this one, though it's definitely possible. Alright, I'm gonna go level 2 cloak here, and then I'm gonna back up battery. I'm gonna hack their weapons. 
I'm gonna hack while my thing is active. Okay, that went down. That's all I needed. That's all. Are you doing a day right now, Daisy? Are you? Can you even see you from the wide cam here? Kind of. Moore's been in his spot all day, too. Oh, she's on there. Yeah. What good kidders we got. What good kidders. Okay, here we go. We got it. We now have four flax online. It's official. The flackening rebeginneth again today, but this time next week, Tuesday. Be there or be square, nerd. Yo, D Batter Skull, thanks for that most amazing 120 months. That is one decade of continuous support. Thanks for that very kind message as well, uh, D Batter Skull. Glad this stream has been a consistency for you during that time. Great to hear. All right, so the goal here is to sneak through this if I can. Coming in this way. Wait. So these are all going to land because it's under the the hacking duration still. Whoops. Whoops, all dead. Legendary sport, you batter skull. Let me say on a personal note, thanks for always being an excellent part of this channel and community. Appreciate you very much. What's next? We're maxed out on reactor. Probably just by engine here. Okay, they do have that. I'm going to go ahead and level 3 um, weapons hack here, because between level 3 weapons hack and cloak, I can keep this from firing, and it won't be long before it's disabled. Very unlikely this doesn't get disabled by the time uh, it fires. There we go. Chunky monkey. Okay, we're going to intercept at the base now with 75 scrap. I'm going to buy... Let's go here. Okay, so the hack I want to do is a weapons hack, in fact. Okay, they hacked my battery, which reduced my power. That's fine. Not even a big deal. All oh, right, I can't back up battery while it's going. I remember now.
Crunch. Okay, we're gonna wait for them uh, at the base phase two. Just the right thing to do. Even with the build this powerful, it's still still smart. Things can and will go wrong in phase three. If we get like a quad fire in our um, our room, I mean that's it. I think I'm gonna do the exact same thing with a weapons hack here. I have never weapon hacked on phase two, I don't think, but it's making some sense right now. And then we'll use uh, temporary power on that. I mean, battery's under fire here. Let's defend it. Yeah, depowered, nice. Oh, he's still hitting, okay. okay now it's down. Okay, it's gonna cloak the old drones here. I'm a level three hack there. Missile launcher is done, son. Okay. Good evening, Dikowski. Is that Sparrowhawk? Well, phase three has boarding and mind control. We don't have many crew left because we shredded them all apart with flak and we have counter mind control. So we're feeling pretty good about our prospects here. Good place for them to board for me. Nice one. Okay, our cloaking got hit. I'm going to repair that. GG, that was a hell of a run, man. Uh, it wasn't actually a very strong start, but it it got there. Got there big time. Texas Toast 2002, what a name, what a player. Thanks for that gift to Sparrow Hot Gaming. Appreciate that. Bo -do 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 -do. I think we're over 7k score on that, and the reason I think that is we had triple uh, Nebula Sector. Uh, we had Long Range Scanners starting Sector 2. We had multiple double dives, so our Beacons Explored, I bet, is above 110 here. I'm going to say 72.22. That's my official guess.
6715, still pretty good, man. Still pretty good. Spiffy, even. Session stats, 60 ships defeated, 113 beacons explored, 2147 scrap collected. New records for beacon explored and crew hired. Very nice. So we did 119 jumps and 113 beacons. Pretty good. Alright, that, uh, that locks out the slug ship. It's the first ship we have all three wins on. Actually, I take it back. It's the second ship we have all three wins on on this save. Probably be rounding out Roxy and Manasee here pretty soon. After that, though, what do I want to do? Probably want to get the Zoltan and Federation done. Leave myself maybe some Crystal and NG for our remaining ships. Well, that was a very fun run, but we're not done yet. We've got another stop, at least one more. We're going to head into the Spelunky 2 daily first look now. I'm ready for some donkey. If you uh, want to wager some of your channel points, I'll get a prediction going here in just a second. Really, the only prediction I do on my entire channel is for the Spelunky 2 daily and Cosmic Ocean if we make it. Give me just a sec here to swap the title, and then we will get the prediction going, and then uh, we'll get into it. I'm going to call this one a first look, because it really just reset in the last hour. Okay, there it is. All right, going to get a prediction going now. This prediction will be, uh, how far will the daily make it? And if, you, um, if you're if you new to Spelunky, uh, the prediction order here is in sequential order of the game going all the way to option six. So dwellings, the first uh, biome, jungle, second, temples, third, etc. cetera. Uh, options seven and eight are the one-offs. The boss of world three is Olmec and world five is a one level on ice caves. Predictions out right now. Okay, let's grab a character here. Jay's been slacking lately. Let's get Valerie in there. All right, when we return, we'll do Penguin Hat Trick and other critter-related festivities. Uh, I'm just going to stand up, stretch my legs real quick, use the restroom, grab some water, do all that. Please do enjoy these sleepy kitters I got during the brief intermission. Be back in just a second for the Spelunky 2 daily first look and whatever else may come. Uh, good luck, everybody does wager some of their channel points. Predictions out for the next 10 minutes or so. Catch you in just a minute for some more fun. Before I stand up here, OST Bacon, thanks for 50 months, 5-0. Here we go.
All righty, we have returned. Thanks for your patience during that brief intermission. Let's head back into our game here. Spelunky 2 Daily, still three minutes left. Get your prediction in if you want to. Time for some penguin into the hole. Now time for penguin to the moon. Well, almost. And now penguin 180, turn around, chair, sit down. You ready? Hell yeah, Valerie. Nice work. All right, Spelunky 2 Daily begins right now. Good luck, everybody, again, that wagers on the dailies success, failure, or detriment. Here we go. Gonna make it a good one. It's a tricky spot here. Almost a filthy opener there. All right. Listen here, you stinky mole. Wow, I'm really lucky I picked up that mole, dude. I didn't even see that there. It's me, lucky mole, and you can't have it. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I might try to pop up on this one, like dropping down when there's not that little lip it's still safe but if i miss we take damage is there a way to recover this there is there is okay so i'm gonna do it like this yeah that's what i was worried about i told myself if i just press the left direction after i miss i'll be able to get that back but that wasn't necessarily true Was the end of the kidders? Oh man. I done goofed on this level. You done goofed, sir. An amazing fragment has been so far this year. It's about the halfway point with today's stream. Uh, definitely not the halfway point if you also include all the bonus time that's been added for your all support. Ooh, okay. Uh, yes, yes, yes. And it's 2,000 something. I'm gonna get that 2k and come back. Big spender, I bet the damsel is around here. There it is. I don't have um, any more bombs right now, so I just think I have to abandon the shrine more or less. There is a very tricky maneuver I could do here where I would... Um, put a bomb down and then whip the bomb to jostle it upwards, but that's a, that's a bad idea. I know that, because I'm a guy that's had tens of thousands of bad ideas in my life. Alright, well, we'll give Kali some consolation mole here. All right, me and my lucky rock are out of here. Did 
death hack. Okay, Matic is very powerful, but I need to be able to afford it. Okay, there's a turkey. Hmm. Wow. This is tough. There's like no way in. Yikes. Okay, that's exactly enough for the Matic. Just a very peculiar level. I think the right play here is just not bother with Turkey Town or anything else and just um, let's see what's up. I can't even get back to my turkey there. Yeah, all right. I concede. I'm not going to do any more messing around out here. There's problems waiting to happen with one minute left. Okay. Wild level, like very, uh, very linear. Not not much room for ex exploration there. You just had to get through it. Why not? We're here. Oh, that's why, because I locked myself in here? Fair enough. Let's, uh, let's rope. Anything large nugget or better, I'm in. Oh, I wasn't right. Let's do it again. There we go. Sounded good? As it was? Okay, 127, damsel's right there. Just gonna dig down here, make myself a little stair. I feel like jungle's the way I want to go on this one. We got okay volcano setup, but no paste or climbing glove. Eh. Okay, it broke. Mm, we'll see. It's going to be a pinch here. All right, skipping that. Been a very meticulous daily so far. Hey, Akara, glad you could make it for some fragments. Watch out, man! I tried. 
Sometimes they just don't listen. Oh, that's gross. Let's go around. Right? Hey, Kali Ma. What are you talking about? Well, it's no doubt dangerous. I've put one live mole, one dead mole on the thing so far. Listen here, little s'more guy. What you're doing right now is pretty cute. You can knock that off, please. Let's go ahead and knock that off, please. What are you, a little baby kitty or something? Be a little baby meow. I grab this guy down here. And the damsel, we should have it. Oh, one more body too? Okay, this guy up here. I've got a plans. Thank goodness he didn't walk on into the exit. Okay, 130, we're gonna make it. Barely, but we'll make it. Kapala get. All right. That is the level right there. If I've used this rope, I might as well check this little back layer. Nothing special. Okay, challenge areas here. Okay, there's a thing behind. Let's just check it out. The most important goal, of course, is to get our hands on the bow. But after that, getting as much money as possible out of the zone is where it's at. Boom, boom, boom. Here's a crate. I was like barren back here. Wild. Okay, I shouldn't have done that, but I did. Go back here. Yeah, wild. There's only a couple compartments in this entire area. Very interesting generation. Back for the bow now. Okay, sister's up there. Am I willing to use one bomb for this? Probably. Oh, hey, there's a bomb bag in the floor. Hmm. There it is. <laughs> 
More, you're too much the little baby mail, bud. It's too much, man. Too much. Whoa. good level there. Ali Shrine? No, it just looked like it. Okay, sister is right there. Almost certainly the sister with that. Oh, no! I did that to myself. GG. Looks like uh, Dying Jungle Gang getting 12.51 to 1 odds. A couple lucky people there. Hey, that's Spelunky too. One small mistake away from death. Not too much info there other than the level generation is very, uh, very technical on the, the dwelling. Well, there you have it. That's how early we are. Even that run was number 11. Hey, there's Zombie Cube. Cool. All right, guys. Head into a couple runs of Brotato here. We're working on Danger 5 right now. Going to swap the title here real quick. All right, very good. Let's check it out. All right, so we're just going across top row. We have old, which is the minus map size plus harvesting. It's kind of a speed boost in a way because the enemy speeds minus. Let's start with a plank here because we can. I'm just going to take the uh, range here. More trees, really good on old. Let's take another plank. I'll take lightning shiv, why not? Okay, another plank here. Let's keep it melee for the moment. Let's also take boiling water. This guy have HP mods. No, HP is all good. All right. We have a horde on 11, wave 11 and 14 on this run, so getting something that can keep a decent area clear is uh, going to be pretty important. Also very profitable. Okay, I'll take this because I'm about to take the... The opposite of that, more or less. Let's take uh, some speed. You know what? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna unlock this. All right, knife sounds good. Shady potion this early is exceptional. One more roll. Another knife. This all looks good. Yo, Mortal Wombat, thanks so much for six months. Appreciate that continuation. Was well, good. Oh, 
we're officially over halfway uh, through Fragments. Um, tomorrow's stream will be our normal fair, and then we'll have our uh, extended Sunday stream, keeping those going all through Fragments as well. Gonna be awesome. Three life steal. I'm in. I'm in. Okay, knife. Give. Take the bat. Let's just save for Shady Potion here. That's the next one. Maybe buying Shady Potion this round was slightly more optimal. Not of any consequence, but something to think about. Higher luck means that our store can potentially be better. And 20 luck in the early game is not a small amount. Missed you. I'm gonna take the Regin. All right, there it is. Shady Potion, Lightning Shiv Two. Let's get a second Lightning Shiv Two. I'm gonna take one sausage. Too. I kind of want to see what the damage does on the sausage. Lightning shift's nice early, at least, because it chains projectiles into other enemies. Okay, I'll take it just for the harvesting right now. Try to fix that damage later. Okay, fine. Four melee damage. There we go. Luck paying off already. Right, sausage, another knife here. Recycling machine is probably good. Hmm. Compared to other items I can get, though, maybe not. Recycling items are something I'm really excited to see for free. Like, if it drops off a crate, that's best-case scenario. Hey there, Zephyrnaut. Enjoy your cozy lurk. Speaking of lurkers, let's do our lurker roll call for today. If you're lurking in the channel, meaning you're an active watcher but not an active chatter, you have the capability to and you want to. Now you're trying to post some of your favorite emotes in the chat. Just thank you all for your silent contribution. This experience would not be the same without you. Oh, look at them all rolling in there. Lurker's number one. Wow, wave six free piggy bank? Excusey? So Meowner's Trider, a Raven, Mayonetta, so Sparks, Baxaron, Nikolai, Youthful Porpoise, what's up, Beast Alex, Squire 14, Zephronaut with the Lurk, Aran Grizzly, Digital Vortex, Funky Junkie, Vile North, FF7, Gisberg Active, what's up, Aritos, Dan, Radioactive Salmon, Calamity, so William, Oxyopian. A Swagman, 5 times 10, good to see ya. Kicksilver, 4-wheel gator. Awesome. Lurkers are the best. I'm gonna take lifesteal here. What I want is movement speed. This is kind of like movement speed. This isn't bad either. Three armor and max HP right now. Can I live through this? I'm going to try to. It's a high quality item. Speed is just very low now. There's a crate. Nice. Don't mind me. Excuse me. Just coming through here. Real slow guy.
All right, two is even more minus speed. Crazy. I will definitely take white flag here. Uh, can I get a move speed, please? A okay, six melee damage. 12% damage. Okay, luck. This looks good, too. Where's my movement speed at, though? A cute monkey, cute. Ooh, free item. At least our damage is great right now. It's like we're walking around in molasses, though. This run's been molassified. Yeah, but you watch out, monster. When I get there, I'm gonna hit you real hard. Just wait. Just hold on, please. Hold on a moment. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, here I come. I'll take it. Speed, yes. <laughs> Thank you. I think I need to roll for a 9 movement speed here. Or perish. Yeah, there we go. Let's do one roll. Okay, wisdom's great. Wisdom seems like the item for old, huh? Get to loot goblin to drop his thing. I did good. Look at all that loot. Not bad, not bad. Ten crit chance. You know, I have five armor already. I'll take that. Cake for sure. Let's roll once here. Okay, 9 speed. I have normal movement speed. Yay. I'm just going to take range at the moment. Look at all this amazing stuff. Okay, um... I also have piggy bank right now. Let's take wisdom at least. It's going to buy out here and then not re-roll. Maybe I can save through this wave in the next one now. Ford wave on 11 is going to be very serious. What I really need is a, a decent weapon, or a new weapon. One spear would make a massive difference. No, not more enemies here. Dodge, yes. Flaming Brass Knuckles 2. It's not nothing. This is pretty good, too. Let's take metal for sure. Okay, I'll take this. Let's drop, or let's combine lightning shivs here into flaming brass knuckle. I'm going to roll. I'm looking for weapons here. Wow, flamethrower 2 is a weapon, and it's a darn good one. Okay, 
Okay, not gonna lock the ship. If we survive this wave, it's because Flamethrower saved our run. Elemental damage just became very strong. Incendiary turret. The incendiary turret might lower the amount of fire that's happening. Let's take 9 max HP here. Sounds awesome. Spear 3, I was just talking about you. Can we take this too? Let's take the boons. Scaling up to flamethrower 3 sounds good. Lifesteal sounds good. Range 33, might as well take the worm. Hey, Spear and Flamethrower is a very nice duo. Okay, awesome, Cheesy Bob. So you're saying the game differentiates between um, the different types of burn damage, so the turret applies its own burn, the flamethrower applies its style of burn, and Sasha can apply additional burn. So you can have multiple burn sources. That makes sense. Thanks for that clarification, it's helpful. Alright, Coopin, I'm gonna take another one of these. I'm also gonna buy the onion. It's good. Okay, the higher value will override the lower ones in case of weapon burn. Interesting. Alright, so if you have two weapons that do a burning style flame damage, the higher amount will override as the quote weapon burn source. Makes sense. We also found out yesterday that turrets do not proc lifesteal. That was not my initial assessment, but I was mistaken. This is pretty sick. Ghost Flint 3. I mean, honestly, I could probably get attack speed off of that. But yeah, let's lock Ghost Flint 3 for the, the brass knuckles if they're not stacking with flamethrower. Hey, Mana Rich, thanks so much for that prime sub. Glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that. Thank you so much. 
y'all for an amazing day here on stream and an amazing first half of our Fragmas winner, the eighth annual one. As I always say, whether you've been watching since day one of the two-year live stream challenge or it's your first time tuning in today, just thanks so much for sharing this time and place. I do appreciate your company in conversation. Spear is so ridiculous. Let's go ahead and roll on that. I'm gonna roll once more. 60 range? Nah, attack speed. Alright, Ghost Flint. Melee damage minus range. That's fine. The plus HP is good here. I'm gonna take Broken Mouth, in fact. Can get away with being Teacher. I think it's a little late, though. Elemental damage is huge. Uh, Mental, this is the character that's causing the smaller arena. The character is old, so this is the one that has the very reduced playfield size. Okay, move speed fine. Coopin. I'll take Blood Leech, sure. Worm's good. Life's cooler, the couple scars, we'll take that as well. Oh, this puts me in negative range. Okay, maybe not. We'll take another leech here. All right, plus five life steal. Yeah. The damage on this 22, spears 46. This bounces three times for 22 damage, so 88 damage total. Fact of the matter is, Spear 2 is better than Lightning Shiv in this build. Spear 2 is definitely better than Plank. Let's take grab that. Harvesting is the amount of materials you get at the end of the wave, and then it goes up by 5%. So you get the XP and materials equal to your harvesting value at when each wave ends. Can be a very, very powerful uh, escalation if you get it early. What is going on over here? Daisy Do? I see you right now, and I see that mom's headset's on the floor, uh-huh, and you were just being a good daisy do, I'm sure, I'm sure, sure you were just being a good kidders. Hey, nice. Spear 3. So we're actually ready for Spear 4 here. Hell yeah. 
Mammoth does sound pretty good. Fuel tank also sounds excellent. Shboop. There's, there's the rest of our stuff. Right, so if you had 100 uh, harvesting, it would go to 105 after activating. You got it. I don't think I'm killing this elite. At least I can kill these lads. Yoinks but doinks. Spawn some more enemies, please. How will I proc my lifesteal if you're not on fire, sir? Please. Okay, plus elemental damage, sure. Okay, damage, fine. Luck, I'm in. I'm gonna roll here, because I want elemental damage, and there it is. Oh yeah, Mammoth was real expensive, that's true. Yes, life seal does proc on our weapon burn tick, not the turrets though. Life steal is awesome with burning weapons, in my experience. This build might have some issues on the boss. I'm not like a good single target damager at the moment. Take that for sure. Um, take attack speed. The okay, elemental damage this does reduce this a little bit. Still worth though. Take the range. Let's unlock that. It's getting crowded in here, man. Uh. Speed engineering crit chance. Oh, yeah. You know, Scissors 2 is a uh, pretty... Uh, Massive amount of lifesteal chance. A burning spreads a nearby enemy. Almost certainly going to take that too. Let's combine here for scissors three. I'll take snake. So everything is just on fire then. Cool. Way too late for vigilante ring. Okay, weird food seems very good. One off whetstone, huh? All right. That'll do it. This seems very unlikely to be a kill.
Oh snap. Mercy, mercy. Woo! I almost died about eight times there, but alas, we did it. Yep, medical turret saved our life there for sure. All right, we one shot Danger Five on all. That feels nice. Lucky, 100% luck. Luck modifications are increased by 25%. 75% chance to deal one 15% of your luck damage to a random enemy when you pick up any material. All right, before we head into uh, Lucky here, just going to stand up, stretch real fast, and grab a quick refill on my water, and then we will uh, head on into another run of Rotato. All right, here we go. It's time for Lucky. I think I'm going to start with a Slingshot here. This character has a lot of luck and then also injures enemies when he picks up materials, so it's, um, it's an interesting effect. My experience so far with this character is you get... Um, luck-based effects, but sometimes you just don't scale fast enough. Okay, let's roll. I could see Ghost Scepter being okay, but let's go Shredder here, because Shredder's a great weapon. Cyberball, do want that. Cyberball is a 
like a weaker version of our character passive. Okay, definitely Cyberball. Okay, another Slingshot, sure. fine for now. Oh, let's take some max. I should take some range here. Another slingshot. Sure. I'm going to roll. Okay. Bunny is quite good. I think lens is also nice. Submachine gun two point two second. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, there is that uh, legendary item that does exist, Nomad, that automatically attracts all materials. It's not so bad late game, but like right now it'd probably be bad because uh, the thing, we pick up the materials before stuff's respawned. So need a little more enemy density to make that one uh, as good, I think. Okay, fine. Fine. Recovering attack speed here is a big deal. Recycle 30 luck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's take max HP. Fine. Wow, circular saw is actually pretty cool with the lifesteal. We'll take that. Okay, looking good. Yes, Bag is amazing on this character. Agreed. That's a great, great point. With such high luck, you're much more likely to be receiving uh, crates from enemy and tree kills. So true. Okay, 50% chance to instantly attract material. I'm gonna take that. 15% chance sounds good. 12 damage, fine. Let's combine these to buy this. And then let's 
You know, let's drop this. I shouldn't have locked that. I gotta say, wrench two is tempting. I'm gonna roll. There we go. Spear. I'm gonna combine here for a base spear. I find spear to be really effective on wave nine. Even a common spear uh, is super helpful on those big waves. I mean, the good news we're gonna have a submachine gun four here momentarily. Legendary weapon before wave nine. Must be lucky. Fifteen attack speed, yes. Okay, submachine gun four in the house, spear two, fine. Alien eyes, I think I'm gonna pass on rocket launcher two. The minus attack speed with rocket launcher is kind of a tough sell, but if I can pair rocket launcher two to slingshot, you know what we're gonna do. Nice more fun with your own sound effects. Yo, Wiki Audi One, thanks for 77 months. Cruising. Thank you. Curious on the cyberball damage. I'm gonna look after this wave. Yo, Zephyrna, thanks for that very generous five gift sub package. Much appreciation. Thank you for that. I'm gonna take 15 luck. Okay, where are we at? 1700 damage so far. That's less than I thought it'd be, but fair. Ooh. All right, let's go ahead and take Crown here. Cute Monkey is also some decent healing. Rock 3 is armor and max HP. You know what? All right. I do want Crown. If I can get any amount of harvesting, it should pay for itself. A bit late to be going into harvesting on this character, but not too late. <laughs> That's fair enough, AK, and Wave 8 is kind of a nice little reality check for your build. Are you actually killing all the different enemy types currently? I have to build some sort of defense. Fine. Let's take max HP. Your projectiles pierce through an additional target. I almost certainly should take that. Let's take crown. Uh, I need more harvesting though. Let's let's hold off on bandana. Bandana is definitely good here. 
I just want to get some other stuff. Okay, bun buns. Cacti Club 2 is a weapon I like a lot. Luck. Oh my god. Crit chance apply to the passive here. I'm guessing crit should be able to happen on pretty much any damage type, right? Yo, SFT, thanks for 68 months, dude. Thank you. I'm going to pass on hunting trophy and just take wandering bot. SFT with 68, Garbanzo the Wise 57. We are officially almost to 30 hours of bonus time starting January 1st after our Fragmas concludes. It's been a fir great first half of Fragmas. This is officially the first stream that's in the second uh, second half. Crazy's a tough character, Raven. I have my own struggles with that. Had a good time with it this go around, but... Uh, challenging character with the minus dodge. Not having dodge late game is very problematic. Ow. Not gonna afford that. Two little muscly dudes, though? Okay, fine. Plus harvesting, awesome. Awesome, let's take some move speed so I'm not in the negative, that'd be great. Coopin. Wandering Bot, Rocket Launcher 3, or do I double down on Rocket Launcher 2 here? Let's go Rocket Launcher 3, Scar sounds good. Um, I need some range. Oh yeah, I'll take that. I will take four HP regeneration. Having some's not going to be bad. I'm surprised we haven't seen more purple weapons with uh, 198 luck. Uh, we know medical turrets amazing. Lemonade, hell yeah. It's not that our weapon quality is bad, it's just that it could be better, that's all. I guess it's still early, it's only wave 12. I somehow felt it was later than it was. Is not. Ted Luck all day. K 
Okay, 9 max HP, I'll take it. Not too late for Vigilante Ring, not even close. Okay, look at that. Twelve damage and six percent attack speed for every weapon you have. This gets us out of the negative. Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and buy a skull here, and then we're gonna go. Boy, here's a bunch of stuff I want. I'm even going to take Sad Tomato, because we'll heal up off of food before the wave gets critical. With this much luck. Hey, that's fair, Raven. Too many shurikens is definitely a place runs can go to die. It's happened to me many times. It's a great weapon until it isn't. I like Slingshot. We still have one up here. Uh -oh. Am I getting bodied here? Feels like it. Uh oh. Spaghettis. Spaghettis. I don't have healing. Spaghetti. Excuse me, coming through, almost dead guy, excuse me. Excuse me. Well, wave 13 is a very common place for a lucky run to die. And there it was. Our weapons just weren't very harmonious, I think is what happened there. All right, we're going to do at least one more lucky run here. I agree, but if the crown did pay off, it would have worked out good. Let's take, uh, let's go Slingshot again. I think Slingshot's a nice early start here. Looks freaking great. I don't even need attack speed here to clear the wave with three, three swing shots. It's just gonna happen. Harvesting. Yep, yep. Weird ghost. Definitely worth it next round. Torch is a nah. Let's take Hedgehog. Okay, little range. Yes, yes, and we'll lock slingshot. Sure.
No big deal, just gonna die if we get hit once. Hey, we got him. Okay, Butterfly, I'll take that. Oh, yeah. More minus attack speed is tough here, but these stats are good. Awesome. I'm going to take Metal Detector. Easy. Easy. Lumberjack shirt would be appreciated. A good stat exchange. I'll take it. Ooh, okay, another one. I'll take that as well. Harvesting. Thirty luck. Wow. All right, let's lock this. Let's combine these spears to get double spear two. I'm gonna grab weird food. We're gonna save for lucky charm for next round. I like that strat, Zelzy. Just pick up the monies. Amazing find. I don't like minus luck, but everything else is great. Take attack speed again. We're at minus 74 right now. That's pretty intense. All right. Yep. Yep. I'm going to not lock compass. It's tempting, though. I don't think I want Rip and Tear, at least not this early. It's a good exchange for free. Probably wouldn't buy that right now, but... Alright, Incendiary Turret, I'm in. Where are... my items right now? Dodge crit chance. Okay, I'll be taking that. Yeah, Ribbon Hair is amazing when you're clustering enemies together. The fact that we're killing off a lot of enemies with the luck damage proc on material pickup is the complication for it. Many enemies would die in proc Ribbon Tear and not hit anything else, which is um, not where it shines.
Okay, yeah, triangle power is good here. Boxing gloves, yeah. 12 damage or more armor? I'm gonna take more armor. Ooh, that's a nice damage escalator. Let's lock that. Our stats are pretty decent for where we're at in the run, I feel. Not bad, man. Engineering for free, sure, attack speed, yep. Alien Eye is actually a very effective damager. I'm going to take that. Weird food for sure. Ooh, sword too. All right, all right. Range is 38 right now, so I'll take that. Cyberball is immediate. Sword three then, sure. I'm actually going to combine slingshots and take double sword two. Like I'm headed for a disaster at wave 13, but who knows? Oh yeah, melee damage for sure. It almost feels like a little late for harvesting, but it's not quite. I'm going to take damage here. Holy guacamole. Well, instead of sword three, have you considered sword four? It's lock cacti club too. I like that one. Flaming brass knuckles. Eh. Oh, wait. We're in a great position for Cacti uh, Club, though. We have ranged and melee damage. Build is survivable basically just off of the weird foods we've got. I'll take it. 
All right, I'll take the harvesting, fine. Armor for damage, absolutely. Lemonade, yep. Little Frog actually sounds amazing. The pickup radius is good here. Combine slingshots for Cacti Club. Ooh, lad. All right, I'll take that. I'll combine spears for Sword 3. It's a good weapon. Oh, yeah. Nope. Attack speed. Oh, man. Cacti Club 4? Is it my birth miss right now? Lucky Charm has to be worth. Alright, Wave 13 is where I died last time. I feel like we're much better at AoE on this than we were on the previous run. The hit 13. Much better. Look at my consumable heal after this. Pretty nuts. Alright, we lived. Consumable heals 5. 25% damage for 3 armor. Yeah. Lifesteal. Oh man, 40 harvesting right now. I'm going to take this too. All right, I'm going to unlock the Lucky Charm here. Oh, it's the chef. Watch out. He's here to chip chop us. No, oh, sir, I do not want to be Brunewad, Julian, or Rough Chopped. Please leave me alone. As it turns out, we're medium dice. All right, one more unlucky here. Hey, you made it, Rattle Cam. Sit back, relax, enjoy, dude. So, I will take full credit there. I died because I failed to dodge. That's what happened. And that's what happened. No one to blame but myself. All right, luck. I'll take the luck here. I'm in. Ooh, here's something we did not have on previous runs.
Cool, Ironhide. Glad you enjoy Lucky. I think it's a very fun character. It's a unique playstyle, for sure. I just love Brotate. I think it's such a fun game to play. It's a good one. Alright. Alright. It's gotta be weapons for right now. Alright, I'm gonna unlock the cute monkey. There we go. There's our last weapons. Take propeller hat, too. What kind of build did you have for your victory, Ironhide, if you remember? There's a few routes to success on uh, Lucky. More than a couple. My last Lucky victory, I just got like, an incredible amount of legendary weapons in the store. Um, I'll take that. Could be good. Take range. Looks good. Wow, three cyber balls. Awesome run, Ironhide. Awesome run. Four melee damage sounds nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, more XP is good. Take Shuriken 2. Take Propeller Hat first, and then I will combine and lock Spear. I'll take that. I'm going to roll. Dodge. Harvesting. Free reroll. So good. Spear. One more roll. All right. Plank two, spear two. Pick up range two. Pick up range nice on this character. Certifiable. Speed. All right, I'm going to drop screwdriver now. For free? Sure. No. I'm okay with more enemies. More enemies is more materials.
Ooh. Yes. Let's take all this. Shredder 3 is exactly the kind of item I want. It is great at clearing groups. Doesn't really need high fire rate to be effective. speed. Ooh. A little early for that, I think. Bowler hat? Oh, yeah. More trees? Oh, yeah. A second bowler hat? You mean a bowler hat for my bowler hat? Now we're bowling. That minigun is looking exceptional over there, too. I'm gonna buy minigun first and foremost next round. We can build our entire build around that minigun. Oh, yeah. Ooh. We just talked about this. You know, I'm going to try it. I'm not sure it's uh, good here, but we're going to find out. I think armor is what I want right now. I just don't think that item is very good on this character, but I will give it a chance. A minigun, bowler hat. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, I don't want minus range damage at all. Let's take little frog. Pickup radius seems good. Ooh, shredder four? Let's just convert this into more of a range build. I'm gonna drop shriek in her knife for that shredder three. We've got the options. I guess pickup radius does not matter now since we have the uh, relic. That's fair. I think overall the immediate pickup of materials decreases our clear ability at the start. Or it makes it so we can't get a big uh, cluster kill later on. It does matter for food. Very fair points. And food is our main source of healing, so. Pickup radius may be better than we want it to be. Take it. You know what? I'll take that too. Range damage. Yep. Okay, let's uh, let's recycle Shuriken for Shredder three. Let's get Plank four. Let's go here. I'm gonna drop Knife for Hatchet three. It's not even that Hatchet three is good. It's just that it's adequate right now. Then glasses, black belt. Let's go.
wonder if the chance to explode on legendary plank is. 70? Take a look after this wave. Oh, never mind. That's fair. 40% chance. That's less than I thought. Well, all right, everybody. That's going to conclude our show today. Thank you so much for the great time, wonderful conversation, and awesome company for uh, FTL, Spelunky2, and Brotator Day. We'll be back at it tomorrow for our 17th day of Fragmas. Um... Looking forward to the stream tomorrow. Then we, of course, have our extended stream on Sunday as well and the rest of the month. Then our bonus time, too. Thank you all for the amazing first half of Fragmas. You're all beautiful and amazing. Appreciate your time, company, and conversation very much. Thanks for all your uh, discussion and clarification today as well. Hope you all have an amazing evening. We'll be back at it tomorrow for some more fun. Take her easy. <laughs>